Okay, I'm back. And this video I'm going to do well. I'm going to talk about my date yesterday. You know, I told you, um, I've had some real weird relationships in the past. I have touched on every weird thing. Like, um, a teacher's younger boy, like, three years younger. Um, boyfriends of my friends. But it's not literally on my block, because they got a crush on me, too. So, they actually start, then I fall. Um, I love this one. <laughs> Anywho, this is, um, yesterday I went out with a guy, which is a weird story because I kind of already knew him. He went to my school before, but then he texted me saying, Who are you? And he had me from Facebook, and I was like, Don't you remember? So I answered him. And then he was like, Oh, hey, I'm sorry I haven't given you pictures. It's because you take great pictures. A lot of people use me like a model, even though I'm staying fashion as well. And I was like, oh, that's okay. Hey, why did you um, send me an inbox saying that who was I? And he was like, I didn't send you an inbox. And I was like, yeah, you did. And he was like, that was my girlfriend. So I was like, oh, we started talking. Then he asked me out. Then he canceled on me. Because when um, he had his grandma and uh, we were going to see my teacher show. I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> then he was like, oh, I'm going to make it up to you. We're going to go take a coffee. Okay. So we did go yesterday. I was so nervous. I had a guy like I was at alone, oh, like, in two years. And it was my boyfriend. So I was like, holy shit. I mean, I cannot, I'm okay with acting like being alone with other guys. Like, I got a lot of friends there. And some other questions that I had, but I don't know, I was just really nervous. It's like, I was like, what do you like this guy? He's really, I don't know, he's my type. He's my type. Yeah, I got a text message. Okay. So. Then I went to the it's on coffee and I went with it. Oh yeah, because there's no stupid Starbucks here, but went in a flight to leave to Mexico City. Is that when I'm in Colombia and Carapa? So it's like you you can go to a Starbucks when you want to leave the state. So weird. Anyhow, so I went to Italian coffee, which is our Starbucks here. And um, I was like so excited, and then I saw him, and I was like, oh my god, there he is. And then left me, I just went there, and I was like, hey, hey, hey. At first, I was so nervous, and I got really bad when I was nervous, so I got nervous, nervous, nervous. And I was like, he told you that, he told you that. But then he, he like really got red, so he was like, oh, we're both nervous, it's okay. And then I don't know what he did, he just started talking, and talking, and talking, and talking. Um, we went from talking seriously to talking to funny, we were laughing all the time, smiling. It, we had a weird connection, we were like literally like a carrot, we were like two of cups, and we like that. But the problem is, which I just don't know, I would like to know. Um, as we were talking about his ex-girlfriend, which he lasted with her two years, and by coincidence, his na her name is um, Giovanna, like me, so I was like, oh, and like, you can call me, I got three names, I got Giovanna Sandoval, Manuelita, so I was like, you can call me Sandoval, and he was like, no, I'll call you Manuelita when I get confidence, you know, and I'm more close to you, and I was like, okay, because that's the name I hate, and <laughs> I was like, okay, and, um, I was just started talking, but then he, like, went back to his ex-girlfriend saying about his past relationships, and I, d I didn't remember, you're supposed to talk about that, but I was like, oh, I could, I told you that in the middle of their matchmaker all the time, they do, so I was like, oh, yeah, okay. And then he asked me about my past relationships, and I was like, okay. So I told him, and then he was like, yeah. He said something about um, me being his future girlfriend, like that he knew when he met a girl who was going to be his future girlfriend. So I was like, okay, that's sweet. But then he went back to his ex-girlfriend talking, and then um, when we were leaving, he started saying, yeah, you know, I really do want a relationship, but I want to take things slow, I want to be, um, single for a while, blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, okay. And then he asked me out when we were just saying goodbye. He's like, oh, there's going to be a party, um, Saturday. What about with me? Um, and I was like, 
Uh, yeah, sometimes I don't want to. I just don't know what he wants. But if anybody feels like the same as I do, or has a weird situation like that, when you need to know if the guy is into you or not, or he is, but he's kind of afraid, because I can see he's hurt. I feel like there's Shakira song right here. Um, I love it. I hate it. Um, I don't know if you understand it. I'll play the link with the traduction in the description of the video. It says, I met you a date of January. I met him, well, I, I knew him since November, but I mean, I actually saw him a lot in January. And then Shakira starts talking about how he, um, his, he, she could see he's hurt. And then he's, she's like, oh, but you deserve to be happy. And she's like, you're going to see how your, um, your wounds are going to be healed. Heal, you're going to not be hurt anymore. I'm going to, like, heal you. So it's like, cool. So I'm like, oh, this is like a project. Like, I can see he's hurt. He's had some past from us relationships that are really bad because he said he had nothing to do with his girlfriends because it's all like, like this. And I'm... I'm like this, and I'm like rap, and I be like everything type things. I'm just Harry Juku, so I'm a mix of type of things. <laughs> I love the song, but so he said um that he, he like his past relationships weren't like um good because they were like too different. And, but it was so funny because it was like like my ex girlfriend didn't like coffee, and I'm like. I drink coffee all the time, and he's like, I, she didn't even like rock, she's like, like a thumb, which is like the stupidest music here in Mexico, never ever listen to that, and I was like, oh my god, and so we were rich, literally, we are the same, and that was really cool to find a guy with so much connection, because that's really important to me, so I was like, cool, and then every time he like says something like that, and I was like, oh, I love that, and I hate that, and he was like, oh my god, I mean, we got, you know what we got? We got... I don't find it. It's got a good thing going. My friend Ryan is texting me like crazy. I got about 10 texts, but we always text all the time, so she can wait. <laughs> so, yeah. We got a good thing going. And well, if he asks me out again, that means he is interested in me. He just really wants to take things slow. So, I guess I'm going to give this chance, on this guy a chance. I mean, it's the best thing I got right now. So, I was just cute. And he's taller than me. We got really good connection. I'm kind of not, I'm not in love. And that is great because when I fall for a guy, I suck. I just can't get him out of my mind, but I um I do like him, but not like exaggerated. I'm okay. Like whatever he wants, wants to take the soul. I'm totally cool with that because I really want I want what he wants after all. A good relationship. So I'll wait for him. My friends could say like, he could see a oh, shit Adrian again. My friends say they could see in my smile I'm happy. My aunt and my grandma told me that. So like, ugh. So yeah. Well, that is my story of my love life right now. There's about two months ago another story, but I want to tell that later when things just happen weird because um, that is the true song of the story. Anywho. Wish me luck with this guy. Since I've got him years, wish me luck with this guy. I really like him. I really do. He's just great. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. If I got viewers, text me if you got viewers. Write something, please. I don't care if you're creepy with them glasses. If you like, like, like the um creepy song from the one to the island when Nicki Minaj goes like, um. Oh shit, I don't remember. I'll put the thing down there too. Okay, I don't care if you're creepy. I don't care if you're, um, weird. I don't care if you're alive or dead. Just, <laughs> just please. Okay? Bye.